What is going on YouTube? I am Prepper Princess, the author of Living on Almost Nothing. If you're interested in purchasing my book, I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below. Today we are going to talk about how I saved 71% of my electricity usage. So let me just show you something right now. It's currently 56 degrees in my house and that is 13 degrees Celsius. Um, everything in my house is electric with the exception of the old gas furnace which is not even central gas it's just, or central heat it's just a little weird heater that looks like a fireplace which it's not a wood burning stove it's not and my gas stove that's it everything else is electric uh the water heater washer dryer you name it so <clears throat> i live in california that has among the highest electric rates in the country the average electric rate is approximately 14 cents per kilowatt hour. Mine is 33 cents per kilowatt hour at the absolute lowest. The highest is around 48 cents per kilowatt hour. And I've done a couple of things. I am on solar. I have solar. It came with the house. It's grid tied. Um, I didn't pay for it. It just came with the house. So uh, I have to learn an entire new way of using electricity. When I first got here, I was like, oh, I have solar. I can just use electricity. I've never been able to do this. I've never been able to just have the lights on and do the laundry whenever I want and have a, my hot water heater on all the time. Well, uh, that was a huge mistake because <laughs> I'm gonna show you real quick. So this is my electricity usage in January. And this is when I noticed that something wasn't right. Now we, with PG&E, because this stuff was purchased in 2016, I have the old plan grandfathered in. So that means that no matter how much electricity I produce, I get paid the regular rate. So if it's at a done at a peak hour, uh, 44 cents or whatever per kilowatt hour, that's what I make. They're bringing new laws into effect where these companies don't have to pay that amount, which I think is kind of messed up because it's going to make people going green a lot more difficult. But as you can see here in January, you know, I'm using 22.9, 24.5, 41 41.7 kilowatt hours because, hey, I've got solar, I can just let it go. And then I came and looked at my stuff and, um, now, if you use more electricity than you produce, you get charged once a year. If you use less than you produce, you get a check or they will put the money towards your future bill. It's your choice. So if you look here, there's this little tab that says energy use and you can see the day that I noticed I was making a mistake and then boom, it just automatically went into producing solar. So here are uh, the energy costs assuming it'll let me so so here 1356 for one day so then i go over here and it's like 533 i'm making money i am making money 558 476 521 uh, 533 and as i'm filming this in mid-march um you can see that i'm still on the I, ye yesterday i had a really bad day <laughs> but um in terms because there it was like practically blackout all day there was no sun but see 667 664 so i am actually making money and there's these occasional blue ones that you see are going up and those are like days that i uh, do laundry or turn the water heater on and um, that is something that i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and go over that real quick but you can see that i'm actually making money and then if you compare me i'm very um what's the word uh i i like to beat comp i'm competitive i'm competitive so mine's the blue line and you can see up here december and january right um 27 more than similar homes i was using 625 kilowatt hours um then 590 and then that's where i noticed my mistake and then i went from 590 down to boom negative 15 kilowatt hours so i actually made money in the month of february and then i'm going to keep on going into march and i'm hoping to get it down 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 because for some reason i find it to be some some frugal people i, I don't know i have a different train of thought i think that you know finding ways to do things for free finding ways to make money save money uh the more 
the more I can I can conserve and do stuff like that, the the greater it's like winning a trophy. It's like winning a first place trophy for me, okay? You know, when you're a kid and you're in softball and you worked really hard and you win the championship. Well, that's me on a daily basis. <laughs> like I won the championship. So here are just a couple of super simple, super easy things that I have been doing over the last uh, couple of month and a half, month, uh, two months maybe, uh, that made me drop it down 71%. And it's just like two or three things. First things first, I went back to my old ways and I flat out turned off the water heater. Water heater's right there. It is fully electric and it's off. And I turn it on about once every three days. This is winter. So um, I take a bath or a shower every other day um, or every third day, depending, depending. And of course I do a wash up in between. I'm, I'm not disgusting where I don't keep clean. But um, yeah, so I just turn off the water heater. This is not for everyone. And if you don't have a hardwired water heater, uh, you can put a timer on it, but I don't have that option. It's hardwired. So uh, I just come over here, I flip the switch every few days um, and turn it on. And then um, when I fill the water heater, or I heat, excuse me, heat the water heater, uh, the hot water will last about two to two and a half days. Um, if I take, if I were to take a really short shower every day, really short, like wax on, wax off, then I would be good. But other than that, I use it mostly for like washing dishes with hot water. And here's my refrigerator, this big, giant, bulky, 15 cubic foot Kenmore that is not to my liking. I like tiny fridges. I like really small fridges. I want an 11 cubic foot fridge with handles. Uh, and I want the freezer on the bottom and the fridge on the top. But that is my dream fridge that I will have to get someday. This one is not energy efficient at all. Not energy efficient. So what I do, I come over and I unplug it. Stay. Just put it there so it doesn't fall down. I just unplug it um, anywhere from six to 12 hours a day. And because I'm no longer heating the inside of my house, I'm heating my body instead. Um, it's not super hot in here, you know, 55 degrees. Uh, the last thing that I'm doing is I am doing laundry exactly once a week on Saturdays because Saturdays are the one of the Saturdays and Sundays weekends are the cheapest rates electricity wise. So I will do one load of laundry per week. And yes, I use the dryer because I don't have a clothesline set up yet and it's raining uh, cats and dogs and it has been for a really long time. So I wouldn't, it would just take forever to dry stuff. Uh, that's another thing. One other really simple thing that I have been doing, I don't have it done right now just because I'm filming this video, but I open the draperies and the blinds <clears throat> during the day so that I get all of that light in. I don't have to turn on any lights. And in order to keep warm, first of all, we've got an electric blanket right there. The doggies love it. And even though it's only like 55 degrees in the house, I sit on that, my butt and my back get totally warm. And I'm always wearing my electric vest which it, I mean, the, the, that uses like maybe 30 watts, 20 watts, much less than a, a heater. Uh, and the vest is just like a five watt vest. It uses like nothing. And then I typically put something that keeps me warm uh, on the TV. Not really. I only put that on the TV in the background when I make videos now because of copyright issues. Anytime I have anything, I seem to get a copyright issue. So um, I'm using this as a background uh, for my YouTube, but I'm mostly not using a whole lot of lighting um, unless it's at nighttime. And even when it's that, it's only a five watt bulb. And then when it comes to keeping warm at night, I simply use my electric blanket, which is on my bed in there, my electric blanket. And that keeps me warm all night. I'm also closing off rooms that I'm not using if I do turn on the heat, but that's gas. So I would close this door. I would close the bathroom door. I would close the bedroom door, just closing all of the doors because again, not central heat. It's not central, it's, it's that one pipe. And that's not a wood stove. Sometimes I wish it was, but it's not. Someday I'll upgrade to central heat and air. I don't have a central air conditioner either. So we'll see how this goes in the summer when it's like 110, 115. We'll see how I deal with that. 
But for right now, these are the tiny little things that I'm doing and I know that this won't work for everyone. Some of you have families of 20. I get it. You can't turn off the hot wa the water heater. I get it. Uh, you know, you can't do one load of laundry per week, but let's see, let's just make little tiny adjustments. See if you can maybe uh, do one or two less loads of laundry per week, or maybe you can turn the water heater down instead of turning it off. Uh, maybe your refrigerator, you can put it on a timer, like six hours on, four hours off, something like that. For me, I, it's just easy to unplug it. The plug's right there. If the plug were behind the fridge, I'd probably be lazy, but it's just right there, so it's not a big deal. Just little tiny things. You guys can do it. And that is how I saved 71% on my electric bill and hoping to get a check. I wanna get a check from PG&E instead of owing them in September at true up time. Do which can with what you've got, Prepper Princess out. I almost forgot, during those peak hours between the hours of 4 p.m. and 9 p.m., uh, I shut everything off, all of it. I turn off everything, I bring out one of my little tiny generators, I put on a light and the TV, and that is it. 4 to 9 p.m. is the peak rates when it's like 48 cents per kilowatt hour. I turn off the electric at the breaker and I use my generators for those uh, four or five hours. Nobody can do that. Nobody, I wasn't even gonna put that in the video because nobody's gonna wanna do that one. Oh, I just had the biggest laughing fit to where I was crying. And these puppies thought there was something wrong with me. Hold on, Rocky. No, you wait. Back, back. Hey. No, no, no. Rocky, I, here. <laughs> here. She's new. She's new. Rocky's got it down, but she's a little new. Yeah, you're a little new. There you go. Rocky. You want some? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy.